Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles and Dasha Polanco. Yay. Orange is the new black. Another season on the way. Yeah. Like when it, do we have dates and stuff? No, we don't have dates. We just finished wrapping up. But. And it just got nominated by Golden Globe. That's major. That's big Is it, talk. Yeah, that's major talk. Wait, when um, Dasha, when you get nominated for the Golden Globe, yes. that's like the precursor to like tons of other nominations. Like that's the start of the season or something, right? How's yes. that? Is that how it works? I guess that's how it works. So I don't you know, know, I'm not behind the award whole politics kind of thing. So you don't understand it quite either. No, I don't either. Either. <laughs> either. Uh, now, if you don't know, if you haven't followed uh, our conversations with Dasha over the years, Dasha is a Brooklyn native, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and um, this is what season of Orange is New Black is this? It's going to be three? It's going to be four. 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 Jeez. Four. Dasha, you have something on your mind today. You're looking at me like you have something you need to say. Yeah, I have a movie coming out, Joy. Okay. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I she she allowed me to go to the screening. What do you mean allowed? Well, she's my homie, so she was like, "Oh, you want to go to the screening?" I was like, "Yes." So I went. You're Laura and, Styles. And I know, I know, I know. Still, still. But what? listen, I teared up in the movie. It's really good, Ebro. What is uh, I walked out of the feeling Dasha like I need to, I need to, I need to invent something and take over the world. Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. What does our friend Dash do in the, in the thing? Uh, she plays um, the best friend to Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is in the film. Big talk. David O. Talk. Russell movie. Major, Major talk. talk. Exactly. Yes. That's what's on my mind, Ebro. That's what's on my so mind. So this is a big deal because you're transitioning Huge. from, uh, you know, a and, role, and a role in Orange Is the New Black, which is a role that we all love. But this is now you coming into your own own uh, your own as an actor. Now this is it's real. It's a film. Right? That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, a film. Oh, by the way, Bradley Cooper's Wait, in about, it too. Tell me, tell me, tell me, It's a film because I'm an actor. But I'm Y'all saw that? Yeah. She was yes. like, I'm an actor. So I, I got to speak to you differently? No, you just have to acknowledge what you have to acknowledge correctly. Hello, Dash. Yes, talk to that. Talk to that. <laughs> more, more, please. Mas, mas, mas. <laughs> mas. But, you know, uh, I'm very proud of being part of this project. This is something huge for someone that just started in Orange is a New Black uh, three years ago. Not being in the deal. industry before, coming from something totally different. Had the opportunity to work with a stellar cast like Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, Jennifer Lawrence. <sighs> Big talk. Major it's quality, talk. you know? <sighs> quality. Yo. Let me tell you, I was in there. <laughs> you cried? Yes. So it, what's the, give me the... It's basically, it's, it's something that we can all relate to. Okay. It's about having obstacles in your life, wanting to make it, wanting to thrive, whether you have an invention, whether it's a dream that you have and everything going against you. And I think we could all relate to that. Getting knocked down. Yes. Not giving up. Going up, when, I, when you're on your way up, there's always things that are always, thrown at you all always. the time from whether it's, you know, from friends, your own, family, friends, people. And it's also a story about you know sometimes you you're um you come not you don't have the best circumstances you know you have family problems you feel like the whole world is on your shoulders and you have to make sacrifices and it's about taking a chance. Is this based on a true thing or is this just yeah, a? Is it based on a true, true story? It's it's true elements. It's various people inspired by various um, different uh, individuals. Oh, but it's very inspiring. Yeah. I walked out of there. And the like beauty of the, the story that the the. The store, the the lead is a woman, mm. and it's how a woman was able to navigate that. Yes, so she's the she's the lead. She's she's the head of the of the ship. And so you're, you know, I don't know all the terms. You have the lead actors, and then you have, you have supporting, supporting leads. Supporting leads. Are you your supporting lead? Is would that be? I'm a supporting leady, bro. So that's like next step is lead. You're, you're on your way to be a leader. I've always been a leader. Doesn't no, no, take... no, no. But I mean, but... in the title of like, we know you're a leader. I'm yeah. just saying in the world of Hollywood yeah. and film, yeah. you know, because you're an actor. Right now you're in film. <laughs> you're on your way to being a lead actor in you have film. have great pronunciation. <laughs> you know. I get lost in my accent, but you have great pronunciation. You're getting better. I remember when you first came up here. We should. I go was run. so we nervous. Run, yeah, I was. You were scary. Back. No, I'm like, I got this. I've been here before. <laughs> so, uh, Dasha Polanco. Um, and when does this movie come out? December 25th. 
Christmas Day. Christmas Day. I'm telling you, but she's so out of here. I'm so proud of her. Yo, we may not see you again. What are you talking about? Like, you're going to get, get, not... get too big for us. Yeah. No. See, this is when I tell you that you may evolve, but you don't lose your essence. And my feet are very well grounded. But uh, sometimes it's not that, right? No, no. There's certain people that show you love from the very beginning. There's people that cut you off the moment that you're down on the floor. It comes in every aspect of this business. You know, I've I've encountered individuals that are supportive from the moment they meet me and have been supportive, and yeah. those are the people that I continue to be loyal to. And there's people that once you have an issue or a circumstance, they want to shut the door on you, and that's okay. You can shut that door because there's many more for there's me to always, knock down. You have always. so many changes in your life, I can tell. I'm not worried. Did you... um? In this process of, of you know, doing the, the amazing um, work on Orange is the New Black um, and then evolving into what we are watching you become now, um, what, were the, what were the big challenges for you on a personal level and on a professional level, right? Like, um, because I'm sure, you know, you, you have, like we were just saying, you have family members who don't understand your new life and you have mm -hmm. to help them understand, look, I still love you, but I gotta go. Or you have, uh, even in this industry, people not taking you seriously. Have you had that those setbacks like that? You always do. And what I'm learning now is very easy. There's, there's a time where you have to think of Dasha. You have to remove negativity out of your life. People that, that cannot handle your, your strive, your way up, that wanna actually hold you down. There's dead weight and there's an anchor. And I need anchors, I don't need dead weight in my life. Mm. Uh, professionally, it's about me actually owning and knowing that I am talented, I'm able of doing anything that I put my mind to, regardless of um, people's choice or what they perceive. And you can't control anything but your actions and what you decide to do. Do you ever stop and think about that day when you were supposed to go to work? When you were like, I think you were like working as a nurse, I think you were, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you were, I think you told us a story. You were like, I was supposed to go to work as a nurse and there was this audition and I always wanted to do it and I didn't have any background, but I just said, fuck it. Do you yeah. ever think about that? Like, is that kind of that, is that that moment where you were like, fuck it, I believe in me, I'm gonna go try some shit out. I'm not even That moment for was it was And that was the Orange is the New Black audition. Yeah, but that was more of like either do it now or not. It's not that I was actually believing myself. When I started believing in myself is when I meet people, when I when I get to build a network, when I have like Laura Styles, when I have Ebro, when I have people actually saying, I respect you, I follow you, I support you, when I meet in the community that I live in when I have young girls, young kids, elderly coming up to me and saying, I'm very proud of you, you inspire me, I look up to you, that's what keeps me going. Very cool. Look at her. I know. I'm telling you. I'm so proud of her. You're a grown up, yo. I'm so, we, so yo, proud of her. You're grown up and, and stuff. She, and she's, look, besides Orange is the New Black, she's doing, she has the movie Joy. Perfect talk talk to me a little bit about uh, your involvement with the NFL. I was uh, one of the um, ambassadors for the women's apparel. Were you the only Latina? I was the only Latina. And I rooted for my Giants. I'm a Giants I mean, fan. Do it, do it. I mean, you know, we have our problems, but I'll, I stay loyal to my <laughs> Giants fans. It's <laughs> yeah. part of being a They should draft fan. me, bro. If they draft me. What ooh. position would you play? Tight end? Yeah. Because I, I mean, because I was looking. I mean, you I was know, looking, you know. You know. Like, I was looking oh, that. God. <laughs> 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 But I'm a football fan. I love football. I could, you know, I went to my first game on Sunday. Uh, and it's, I love how they're incorporating women into sports. Mm. They have apparel that you can wear to work. Mm. And if, if apparel that you could wear, you could incorporate in your, not only exercise, but your daily routine. And I think that's necessary to involve like more family oriented and less bias. And, yeah. you know, I'm a fan. I love football. You know, we have to, distinguish from gender and sports and genders and all that kind of stuff. What about on a on a dating level? Like we never hear Dasha Polanco dating stories. And I mean you're a beautiful woman. Like I don't 
we don't hear those things about like the the only thing I ever saw negative about Dash Polanco was just recently your birthday passed and they threw up something about you fighting somebody or something mm-hmm. like a teenager or somebody tried to stay and you know here in New York City you run into a teenager on the train sometimes you gotta get loose on some of these teenagers you know what time it is I'm Listen, if you over 16, you're talking greasy, I'm treating you like an adult. That's what it is. But and sometimes people, you know, not everything you read is true. Uh, and I'm in a point in my life where I still live in an area where it's, I, I'm exposed to a lot, of, a lot of things and people are watching. And they're hating. And, you know, not everything you read is true. So my lawyers are handling it. Hopefully it's dismissed and... We move on. And also the bigger you get, you already know how it is. Even yeah. with my friends, it's like people always coming up with a bunch of BS. Yeah. So And it's New York City, man. Listen, man. It's crazy. She's just doing I so many yeah. other amazing things. I just though. can't wait for everything to wrap up so then a lot of people will have see. to But you, you moved right past my relationship question. <laughs> she sips her tea. Listen, I we, mean, hear Ebro, stories, like, we hear stories about people lusting over you, Dasha. That's crazy well, where are they? I mean, where, he, hello, hello, hello. Where are is they? It, but over is you? it hard for you now? Like, it's, it's very hard. hard. Why? It's very hard because I was in a long-term relationship that was not healthy. Mm. And so now I'm in a place where... I have and to this was during the Orange is New Black? All this, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, my private life, I, I've learned and I've seen historically through... You know, uh, you have the Beyonce and the GZ, and they're very. You learn from from those situations. I want to keep it private. However, I can tell you that because of what I do, you don't know who's really interested in you mm. for what you do or for who you are. And you just or they genuinely just want to get yeah. to know who you are, Dasha. Yeah. And I don't have tolerance for like people in the industry sometimes too. What does that mean? Like the fake, the fakeness, or the so you wouldn't no, see no, yourself no. dating another actor? No, I, I want to date, you know, because they understand the whole thing. But mm. I feel sometimes, you know, I like hip hop artists. And stuff oh like that. my god! Yeah, we had this conversation, we had, Ebro. We had we had an entire <laughs> hello, conversation. Hello, hello. Pay attention, because I need you on this one. She likes hip hop artists, and she was asking about. I'm like, no, no, stay away from all of them. <laughs> no rappers, no R and B singers, none of them. So stay you want to date a rapper? No, I mean... I, you got your I, eyes on one. Which one you like? Come on. No, I, I actually have... Go I have, in, I am actually talking to somebody. Oh, an artist? God. They're not an artist. But they just work in it. But they they work in the entertainment business, and they're... So far, they're... How long has it been? Huh? How long y'all been dating? It's just dating, right? Yeah, it's just dating. It's just dating. Okay. A couple months. That's it. Mm. But that's it. But I'm very focused on my career right now, Ebro. As you should be. As you're on your phone. I, well, I'm only on your Instagram page. Ugh, he's what are you doing? A creeper what are you... <laughs> and a lurker. I'm looking at your Instagram page. What are you looking at? I, for a while, would pay a lot. Wow, look at you. A million followers. I remember the days you was at like 200,000. You were out here. Um, I. <laughs> Can you shout out my Instagram, though? It is. <laughs> she is Dash. Okay. Um, there was a time, yeah, you don't do it anymore. So, what are you looking for? There was a time when she used to throw up these hashtags. I was like, what is she I talking always do about? It. Oh, she yeah, used but there to was have one that said like, hashtag I smell, smell good. good. I was like, that what? stays on there. And then what is that? Hair flip by. Yeah. Okay, can you? I was like, of course you smell and good. Then you Why had, would you have you to? You had one about protons or neutrons. Oh or yeah, electrons. fuck electrons. Yeah. Well, can I curse? Yeah. yeah. I said fuck electrons. Can I, oh, so let's start with fuck electrons, fuck negativity. Okay, fine. And then hair flip by is like. oh time hit the bye and then wow. hashtag i smell good it's something i'm very proud of i love scents i love fragrances i love to smell good it's therapeutic got it and that's my see, thing because i took it as okay maybe there was a time she smelled bad and oh, now she's shut happy up. to be in a better place <laughs> No. Shut up. I don't know, man. No. And listen, it's probably just preparing herself because we're going to see Dasha's new perfume uh, coming uh, next spring. Official, though, because, you, you know, organic chem was my was my thing in, in college. Wait, time out. Organic chemistry? Yeah, I got an A-plus in organic chem, hon. Yes. Word. Perfume is So were you going to be like way. a chemist? What would you want to be? Um, I was actually taking courses to do nurse, to be a nurse. Because I was in the operating room, I used to manage in the operating room, the central sterile department. So, Psh, our girl there's nothing Dosh. you can't do. All I, I don't tolerate Look at excuses. You. Mm. Look at you. Single parent. A Yo, woman. listen, this is Ebro in the morning with two bad joints. That's the name of this new show. Look at this. This is what I get to do at work. 
they gotta see joy that's that's joy this i can relate to that movie because i see myself in that movie so. please and you know what i did too i could totally relate to it i could see my mother's story in that movie i could see like friends of mine and i'm pretty sure when you watch it which you will mm. you will see that you'll be able to relate to it too what it's guys, a wonderful film what are you guys doing tonight you guys busy <laughs> You want to go with the two joints? You want to? Yeah. You want to have Set a good time with two joints? Yeah. I can't with you, bro. You won't come to work tomorrow. I'm not coming to work tomorrow. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Friday? Yes. Guys, see, see? Guys. we could do so. We could do dinner and then we could do breakfast. <gasps> Brunch. All right, let's focus. We're gonna sleep in. We're gonna sleep in. Oh yay! Breakfast in bed. Dasha, don't feed into this. Shit. You gotta feed him stuff. He likes that. See? Oh my Talk God. about it. See, she know what to do. She doesn't intimidate me anymore. Give it up for our girl Dasha Polanco. Yay. We love her and we're so happy for you. See, don't play around. Joy, the movie's coming out December 25th. Go watch it.